Swami Ji, is there any work or occupation in the world which is suitable for spiritual life? We will have to be a little more selective. In the sense that from the individual level to a spiritual level, when we move, then there is no difference. But until we move from the individual level to the spiritual level, we have to be selective in our fields of activity. Any activity that directly or indirectly promotes self-interest, self-centeredness, the me and mine background, it has to be avoided. The spiritual life means, or spirituality means, we are trying to understand or recognize the spirit in us as well as in everybody. So far we have been leading a life based on our sense of individuality, the me and mine. Where we have not identified this common denominator in others. So when we are inspired or prompted from within to think in terms of universal, not in terms of individual, naturally uh, we will have to avoid any activity that uh, ultimately becomes self-centered or it gives us, it is purely for our own benefit. At the same time, any activity that is for the welfare of everybody, it ha it should we should be involved with ourselves. And a stage will come, or we have been promised by the seers, that we will be able to transform every activity as a an offering to the Lord, the indwelling reality. In that case, none of us need to be selective because it will be free from the me and my bondage. It is not aimed at gaining anything individually. But until we reach that stage, we have to be selective. We have to avoid certain things. We have to promote certain things. To un when we read something, when we go through certain uh, biographies, go through certain these words of wisdom of masters, our mind may tend to place ourselves on a higher platform, but actually it's only, uh, it's only a knowledge that we have got. We have not still trained our equipment to live up to it. With that academic knowledge, suppose we plunge into activities, the me and mind will slowly uh, show its head and ultimately we are carried away by it. So initially, as we said earlier, we have to be selective. And how, what is the norm? What is the benchmark? Anything that has got a, any, even a, even a smallest percentage of vested interest, we should avoid. To be ensure, that we carry on with this attitude. That means, before plunging into any activity, a seeker of the truth, Sadhaka, will definitely try to affirm to himself mm -hmm. affirmations that this is meant for giving back to him through this particular form, through this particular field. All of us have been assigned with a particular mission and that is why we are leading this life. But unfortunately, because we are not aware of it, we start our life from us, me and mine. So it is always coloured by the 
me and mine, aims and objects. So when we keep on contemplating upon the, the relevance of the role of this Atman in us, the indwelling reality in us, we slowly realize that we, our, our, we owe our origin to that power. It is because of that power only we got this human birth. Father and mother were only instrumental causes. And then the same power has been responsible to give me an equipment called the body of my intellect. The same power has provided everything that is needed for me, basic requirements through mother nature. The same power has provided every creature comforts to make my life comfortable. When all these things are constantly hammered into our way, the dominance of me and mine will become lesser and lesser and lesser. And to that extent, all our thoughts, words and deeds get refined and slowly getting freed from the clutches of me and mine. So the question was, are there any activities which will help us to lead a spiritual life? You know? Are there any that we have to be selected? Yes, we have to be at it. But later on, when we uh, carry on with this sort of life, where we try to bring in this dimension, that everything has been given to us by the power. And so whatever action that come out of me should be a payback. Until we reach that stage, we have to be selective. When you have reached that stage, every act, every field, every person, every object, every situation is okay for us. We don't know to what action we have clarified it. Kindly go, kindly go through this again and again and try to link it with your own experience. And uh, whenever we do anything which is free from vested interest, there is an inexplicable pleasant feeling that will well up in our heart. Whenever, whenever I, I I as an individual try to get something on an individual plane. I do get a thrill, no doubt. But this thrill is different from the other one. For example, somebody is uh, likely to fall. You immediately jump and save him. You know? He is not a product of your thought. And then when you saved him, you know, that particular nick of the moment, when you know that he has been saved, where there is no me and mine involved, that feeling. When you are about to eat, somebody comes forward, you can instantaneously, spontaneously you share it with others. There are so many such incidents that are happening. We are not giving importance to that. Then we will find what, what was it? What was that feeling? You know? We cannot explain. A fullness come because you have identified yourself beyond your individual level. This is how uh, we try to graduate ourselves from the individual to a higher level. So during that transitional period, it is always better to be choosy and selective in our, what, in our fields of activity. Hello.